Hey folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. Today we're coming to you from inside the bee studio. So uh, got a lot of things going on inside here uh, in the winter that we don't normally do during the summer, such as working on the hive bodies and all that. So I'm gonna run through and show you a little bit of what I got going on this January. Okay, so right here we got our sugar cakes. And uh, this is about a one inch thick pieces of sugar that we laid out on this tray and let dry. So the way I make these is uh, I put them in a five gallon bucket, which I got right here. And uh, mix that sugar with a paint stir and a drill. You put, uh, oh, about 10 pounds of sugar in it. You fill this about halfway full with sugar. And I take water and Pro Health. I use Pro Health from Man Lake. Uh, a lot of people use Honey Bee Healthy, which is about the same thing. And uh, I'll, I'll mix uh, about a tablespoon of that Pro Health to a cup or a cup and a half of water. And I'll pour it in here and mix it with the drill and mix it up really good and it's going to be the consistency of like us you put your hand in and you pack it and squeeze it and if it sticks together and holds its shape like a snowball that's the consistency you want and i put that on my tray out here and i take this little flipper here and i make little lines between it so when you're ready you can just uh pull it out and put that on top of your hives so that's one thing we use in the winter also use this uh, turkey baster oven here been melting some wax had uh, several frames from some dead outs that uh, had some wax moth damage I cleaned them up best I could and put a new coat of wax on them so all these deeps here are ready to go and they're marked with 20 for 2020 will be when they go into the hives our honey supers are all stored here uh, on moth crystals and I'm gonna sell some nukes this year so I'm getting my double uh, nuke boxes ready that and I drilled instrument holes on the side opposite sides of each one you can see there and I made me a migratory cover for this from uh, scraps from up at the construction on the house and also I just used a OSB to make a solid bottom here so there won't be an entrance on the bottom of this like normal beehives the bees will come and go out of here and for the other side they'll come and go out the back so I've got two of those here's the other one and I've got some uh, new bottom board so need to do a lot of painting we'll do that later in the year when it warms up a little bit and also i'm making some uh, nukes i've got enough uh, lumber here that i got from up at the construction on the new house to make 10 nukes and this is osb and i know it won't last a long time but hey it was free and I spent two days digging lumber out of that uh, two big old piles up there by the house. So instead of making a rabbit cut down the edge, I'm going to use these inserts on the sides for the frames to sit on. I'll go show you outside. I've got one set up. So we've been working out here. Here's the two solid bottoms three-quarter OSB that'll go in those double nuke boxes and you can see they're the exact size of a deep box so then you can get some paint on them and I got this uh, treated bottom board here this is for my father-in-law had a couple hives out at his place and the termites got up in there and ate up the bottom board and ate up two deep boxes so here's my nuke project so here's a man lake nuke and here's a free lumber nuke so what i was talking about instead of cutting a rabbit down the side 
this OSB if you were try to do that it would just fall to pieces and splinter so I'm taking these boards here and putting in right here and that's going to be where the frames sit I don't have a frame out here right now but this will hold five deep frames and I'm going to make bottom boards next uh, might get some of that done today so we got various stuff going on out here so up at the house they got this uh, it's kind of siding trim boards but it's it's OSB and man they left that laying everywhere I got lots of these so I'm thinking I might make the uh, these little boards here out of this stuff you know so I don't waste pine I got a few pine scraps around and uh, there's one there also I got this big long piece of cedar trim right here that I can use to make some of that so that's cedar it won't rot got other projects going on just uh, got nukes up here you know we need to put some some paint on this on the corners and get that uh, taken care of I had this bottom board up here it needs some paint on it that's one that I've made just out of scraps and I had this new migratory cover that I don't know if I made that or if that's one I bought and put together but anyway I think I made it because it's got screws but the end had come off and that needs painted okay let's head on up to uh, the house construction site and I'll show you around a little bit okay here we are they've got all the doors on the windows on electricals all done plumbing is done we're waiting on plumbing inspection and I think electrical inspection right now but uh, here's what I was talking about there are two big piles like this and uh, I pulled out a lot of boards out of here and here's like that OSB I was talking about that I didn't take that piece uh, I got a lot of two befores that are about three and four foot long had to get a lot of nails out of them and there's another pile in the back looks just like this one I'm gonna snag this pallet Here's a bunch of OSB I can still pick up. There's a few shingles. Need to get those open ones for spares. Oh, they've been out here. So there was a giant pile of boards right here. It's all cleaned up. And they put aside some things. Looks like they're going to keep. I believe those are cedar. I know the bottom one there is. That's expensive stuff. Okay, here we go inside. So you can see all the electrical's done. We've got Cat 6 wires pulled and all the television drops there's our main data panel right there in one of the closets got the fireplace in and not much to see it's just framed in they did put this tub in so we got that done 
I think they're waiting on that tub to get the inspection done. Run upstairs real quick. This upstairs room is only 50 foot smaller than what we're living in right now, our little house in the barn. So there's the dormers. Big closet back here. And there's the HVAC, all hooked up. And that's the hatch for the garage there. I've never seen one done where they hang it like that. Of course, I haven't built many houses. <laughs> It was a mess in here. It's all cleaned up now, pretty much. These are floor outlets. Yeah. Nice big front door. This is the master living area and pantry and all of that. Utility room. There's the uh, water manifold. Not sure about this plumber's color coding scheme. As long as it all hooks up and works, I guess that's okay. But uh, this is the hot side and he's got blue and the cold side and he's got clear and blue. But, uh, and then this one here goes over to this side. Thought that was kind of odd. And this is a bedroom here. I don't know why these guys leave the windows open. There's a bunch of data lines there. Cat six. So this uh opposite room right here where all these cat six wires are going I want to have my office right here so this is where a router is going to go so that's why we have all these data cables right there and that's our big tub so right now we're living in this barn and there's a 600 square feet in there. And before we moved into that, we lived in that camper there for about six months while we built that apartment in that uh, barn ourselves. So this is that green board that I had in the nukes. <laughs> so it's, it's like got a water barrier here and then in the seams they put this tape over it. This here is uh, for generator, and that's the HVAC hookup, and 220, and we have two more AC units here that are mini uh, split systems. One's in the bedroom, and one's upstairs, so we can keep our bedroom a lot cooler at night without having to cool down the whole house, and this other one will be for the upstairs room. And that gas line coming down there, there's going to be an outdoor fireplace right there on the corner. So this is the back side, the back porch. Just want to give you all a quick little tour, show you where it's at. Uh, a couple folks asked me where it was at and when we were going to move in, so it looks like uh, or it's, it's supposed to be March, so we'll see. They still got, you know, the whole inside to do, and from what I understand, the, the inside stuff takes 
just as long or longer than the, the main structure and the roof and all that. So, uh, hey, that's it. Uh, give me a thumbs up and put your comments down below if you got any questions or things about the nukes or any of that. So uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Y'all take care.